Hello and welcome back to another superhero video. Today, I'm going to be giving you my recommendations for the best superhero comics to read absolutely free on Webtoon. If you're not familiar with Webtoons, here's a brief explanation. It is a free app and website that allows independent comic book creators to publish their content to a new audience. It also allows comic book fans like myself to read new series that I wouldn't have found any other way. So now that you know what it is, let me tell you a little bit about my favorite comics on Webtoon. Starting off the list is a series that goes by, Kill All Heroes. A young man with incredible powers is on a one-man war path, doing exactly what the title says, killing superheroes. He is doing this because when he was a child, he watched a hero murder his family. While this is the main focus, the B-plot is very interesting. Some of the heroes are not as altruistic as they seem, but very few people know this. A subgroup of heroes are planning something truly evil for the near future, but will anyone find out in time to stop them? I don't know, but I'm on the edge of my seat reading every issue to find out. The characters and city are beautifully designed, very reminiscent of Dragon Ball Z. The action is fast-paced, and I really can't recommend this one enough. Now on to the next series. The Spider Spectre is the name of this webcomic. The story centers on a boy named Desmond, who just wants a normal life. It's hard for him to make friends, because his dad is constantly changing jobs and moving the family. One day while walking in the woods, he encountered the body of the Spider Spectre, a legendary hero who disappeared 30 years ago. The spirit of the hero then entered Desmond, imbuing him with great powers. He is introduced to a world of magic, monsters, new friends, and foes. The main character Desmond is very relatable and well-written. He is not only dealing with dangerous otherworldly threats, but also figuring out regular teenage life. The lore gets deeper and deeper as the plot moves along, keeping me intrigued through every issue. I highly recommend this series for both casual fans and longtime comic nerds alike. The next web series on my list is called A Hero's Shadow. Nays Major is caught up in a super-powered gang war. But instead of finding himself in the middle of it, he is actually the one who started it, not by accident, or because he had no choice, no, but because conviction is the driving force of change. The difference between a hero and a villain lies in the strength of their conviction. So just know, Naze is no criminal. This is the story of a hero and a villain all rolled into one. The illustrations in this comic are well detailed and each character has unique designs. The action scenes are consistently some of the best I've seen. The dialogue has me laughing, as the jokes land perfectly balanced with the action. I can only think to describe this comic as artistic controlled chaos, and I love it. This is definitely worth taking a weekend to read through. The next series I want to talk about is called, Legend of Storm. This series is the only one on my list that's not in the superhero genre specifically. Despite this, it is an action-filled fantasy world that captures the imagination. In this comic, there are a few powerful beings called Titans. The most powerful of the Titans are called Vessels, which the main character Storm just happens to be. Storm has formed a gang of what can only be described as Total Brothers to go out in search of the other vessels. The comedy and action fill each and every issue, and a new episode drops consistently every two weeks. The next series on my recommendations list is a little-known fan favorite called The Radical Squad. When reading the first issue, I immediately recognized something was special about it. The world building is very well crafted, and the characters' personalities get fully flushed out in a satisfying manner as the story progresses. Being the son of a hero, Lawrence always looked up to his dad for guidance and inspiration. After his father dies, Lawrence takes it upon himself to take up the mantle of Manity in the hopes of one day becoming a legendary superhero. The problem he comes across is that it's much harder to be a superhero than he originally thought. He often gets beat up by more experienced villains, but Lawrence has the strength, durability, and most importantly, mental toughness to one day rise to greatness. Every panel has great attention to detail, along with a vibrant assortment of colors that bring the story to life. On Webtoon, readers are given the opportunity to rate any series 1 through 10. The Radical Squad has just over 1,000 active readers at the time of this recording, and a perfect 10 out of 10 stars rating. If you know how picky and hard to satisfy comic readers are, then you understand how impressive this feat is. So if my word isn't good enough, take the recommendation of over 1,000 unanimous comic fans. Well, that's all I have for today. If you have any more recommendations, leave them in the comments for me. I appreciate you sticking around this long. Thanks for watching.